What's the biggest? Um, Come on, you know you know that. Off no, top of your head. I Don't really play with me. No, you know. Um, <laughs> so I have to. I have to answer that. Like for the office, right? I well, can't, it's a team effort. Not absolutely, it's not just one person. And you know, the biggest one probably was within the last eighteen months. Oh, started with a local officer. Yeah. Well, of course, we do patrol. all the real work. Absolutely yeah. right. And um, I think it was three hundred kilos of meth. Uh, started with an officer Holy shit. <clears throat> in a stolen car. Uh, the guy ran into a warehouse, and in the warehouse was 300 keys of meth. He snitched on his own people. Well, he didn't mean to. By, he just by, ran. By proxy. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, right? So, you know, I mean, that's that's the biggest one like that. Uh, the biggest, you know, we've had, we've had people... You know, there have been several times we've had people uh, bring a million dollars to a drug deal thinking they're picking up narcotics uh, from an undercover. And In cash? Cash okay. money, yeah. So tell me the truth. I, I've heard this. <laughs> I've never seen it in person, but it's always underwhelming. Like you expect all this stacked up cash <clears throat> and it ends up being like <laughs> I mean, uh, a little briefcase full and you're like, oh. Well, I mean, I can tell you... Uh, we received a tip one time. This was years ago on a Saturday night. I'm at dinner with my wife and got a tip that there was a tractor trailer in Arlington that had a million dollars in it and that someone was going to be picking up the money within like the hour, made some calls, got people out there, watched a guy unload two rolling suitcases okay. from the cab of the tractor, put them in a van. Uh, got a patrolman to make a stop, search, and there was like 1.1 million in cash, and just two regular rolling suitcases. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All ones or like? No, no, no. <laughs> two, no twenties, hundreds. That'd yeah, be, no. I mean, because you guys have to count it. <clears throat> Somebody, you're you're high up now. You don't have to. Well, we <clears throat> somebody's got to. <laughs> the agency I work for, our policy is we don't we don't count money, so it's bagged and tagged on scene. And then is later taken to a bank where they do an official count. Oh, okay. Then they got all um, the machines for it. Absolutely right. Oh, because, okay. you know, a bunch of cops could never, we could never all count a million dollars and come up with the right amount, right? <laughs> they I mean, didn't hire me for my math. Right? Absolutely. It would never come out. You know, I know a lot of departments count the money. 18. Wait, but shit, where was I? Somebody absolutely. interrupts you. And then exactly. Like, oh, I guess start it. So, yeah, I know. Uh, but, yeah, it's, you know, yeah, money, it's. Holy shit. That's a lot. That is a lot. That's a lot of money. Are they tracking their money? Like, you know what I mean? Like, me, I'd put an Apple tracker in that shit at least if I was... Oh, yeah, yeah. As I a mean, dope person. Like. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, they track loads, whether it's money or dope. Yeah. We find that we're finding that a lot more trackers, uh, the little Apple... AirTag. AirTag. Yeah, 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 yeah that's an go. AirTag, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, you know, when I started 24 years ago, we didn't worry about things like that, but now... Yeah. They have uh, load vehicles with microphones in them, so they can so they, they can know right listen. Away. They can listen. Yeah, I mean okay. it's it's crazy. Yeah. The, we're the, always behind the curve. We are absolutely, yeah. and but you know they have the cartels have the money, and you know they they have figured out how to protect their investment. Yeah, yeah. Strategically, like they're stacked. People don't give the cartel enough credit. But they're militarily and technology wise, they are. Well, because money's not an object, right? I mean, that's the thing that that always hurts us, law enforcement, the government, because we have budgets, we have uh, rules that we have to follow to spend money, and nothing is easy. And they they don't they the cartel does not work, or your your normal dope dealer doesn't work within those parameters. Right. You know, they're just, it's just money. They just spend it, you yeah. know, and, uh, you keep hitting that down. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Punch you right in the face. I'm, I'm sorry. Scared. I apologize. It's not a big deal. I told you. I talk hand. with my hands. I do too. Yeah. It's a pain. We were discussing like the etiquette for, I'm like, feel free to move the mic, do whatever you got to do, all that stuff. And, um, I was just like, don't hit it. I said, well, the one thing is like, if you're like me, you like to, I had to learn to sit still and I, I keep my hands out here now and, the other thing I had to do is get this because all of our voices would bounce off of the wood table. And so I was like, I just got a moving blanket and it kind of. It's fancy. Yeah. Yeah. It was 30 bucks on Amazon. So it's not too fancy. But <laughs> um, Okay. So I think we've kind of covered 
what y'all do. Yes. Um, specifically, kind of, because here's some of the things, guys. I don't want to um, give away any trade secrets by any means with the way that they're crime fighting these days. But it is fun to hear about the big, big bus. Um, what about for you? What was what's the biggest thing you guys have hit with guns specifically? Other than the grenade launcher you got. That's a hard like, did you question. guys find like a warehouse full of freaking guns or anything like that? We have. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Those things that's exist. the way people yeah. want to. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to inspire people to want to get into this profession that nobody wants to get into anymore. So when they hear like that you're out there making a big difference, like by knocking down, you find a trunk full of guns, you find a warehouse full of guns, you find, you know, a semi truck full of guns, whatever it is, like people like to hear that type of thing. So I'm just curious, like, was there something you were on the ground for and you're like, holy shit, like we hit the jackpot. How about the the truck going to Mexico? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, again, because there's a lot of different scenarios with that. 